Hello, Mrs. Drake here. We're getting ready for Trumpet Lesson 12. Trumpet in the book Lesson 12. But before we get on to Lesson 12, would you please fit, flip over to page 15, and we're going to do the fourth song on this one, the one that's called Technique. So everybody flip to page 14, down to the fourth song on the page, the one that's listed as Technique. Um, and also I hope you warmed up with the five note scale. So if you haven't played the five note scale, pa pause the video and go ahead and warm up on your five note scale. Okay, so we're on page 15, the fourth song down, the one called Technique. Look through it and you'll see the lowest note is low B. Make sure you're going to do low B with middle finger. And you got to know your own brain. Are you good? Do you think you'll remember to play middle finger? Do you think there's a chance you might forget? If you think you might forget, please take a pencil and above the low B, put the number two to represent middle finger, or you could draw the natural sign. It's better to be safe than sorry, so you gotta know your own brain. If you wanna write reminders to yourself, please use pencil, but it's totally okay with me. Okay, everybody, page 15, song number four starts on a C. Everybody find a C. Alrighty, and song number four is gonna be C, D, E, C. This is a finger exercise. That's what they mean by technique. Okay, song number four. One, two, ready. Now flip over to lesson 12, lesson 12. Okay, song number one, Marching Home. There is some slurs, and I encourage you to try it, but the first couple times you play this song, you might wanna leave the slurs off. It does make it easier if you leave the slurs off. Um, I am gonna do the slurs, but again, for you, they're optional. All right, song number one, look it over for a second. The first notes are G's and E's, so everybody warm up a G and then warm up a E. <laughs> Find those two notes. Okay, song number one. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> song number two. Uh, the first note is worth three beats. Remember a dotted half note, you hold it for three beats. Look it through for a second. There's a few yet. Rests. Okay, song number two. Find an E. Song number two. One, two, ready. <gasps> Are you using mouth breaths or nose breath? I hope the answer is mouth breaths. Remember to use the sides of your mouth, breathe in and out through your mouth. Okay, song number three. On song number three, if you look in the last measure, it says DC al fine, Italian words, da capo al fine. It is written up on the very top of the page. Um, da capo in Italian means the cap, the beginning. So what that means on song three is you play all the way to the end, then you return to the beginning. DC al fine means return to the beginning. You play the beginning part and then you stop where the word fine is. F-I-N-E in Italian is pronounced fine. I know in English you'd say the word fine, but musical terms are typically written in Italian because the idea of writing music was invented in Italy. So the tradition in in uh, music writing is to uh, use Italian words. So you're gonna end up learning a little bit of Italian. So on song three, you play it all the way to the end, then you return to the beginning, and then you stop where the word fine is. Okay, song number three, it warms up with an E. Everybody find an E? Uh, song number three. One, two, ready, go. Uh, 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 uh,
I go too fast for you, feel free to pause the tape and practice it some without me. And then when you feel like you have it um, up to the speed, play the tape and try to play along with me. Okay, everybody, song four, Ode to Joy. Oh, a classic, wonderful, beautiful song. You probably will recognize this melody. I bet your grandparents and your parents might even recognize this melody. It's by a composer named Beethoven. Alrighty, I'm going to pause it for a second here. We'll come back.